and welcome to Divination, a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes. We are here to provide you with tips, techniques, and also a community that will guide you and help you build better looking websites. I'm your host, Mac, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a sticky module on your website. Now, you may want to use this in situations where you have a particular module that you need to keep in front of your viewer as you're scrolling through your website. I have three examples to show you and one of them is a podcast. So let me show you how you can make this happen. So before I show you how to set up these sticky modules on your website, I'd like to go through my examples and explain why I set them up the way they are. So in my first example here, we have this login module. So what I would like to do here is when people come to my website, I would like them to scroll and make it very easy for them to just log in after they have uh, read what's on this website. So again, as you can see, when I scroll down, it stays right there inside, so it's quite easy to find. Okay, let's move on to the next example, and this time it's, um, it's the whole section that I've made uh, sticky. So the reason why is because this special offer is the highlight of this page. So as people are scrolling down, it stays up there, so you don't lose sight of it. Okay, so you can see uh, this uh, code that we're going to use in these examples is versatile. You can either use it on modules or you can actually use it on sections. In this example, we're on the blog page. Now, again, what I'd like here is for people to see uh, all these latest articles, but at the same time, they need to be able to see that this is the latest podcast for them to listen to it. So this is the item I've highlighted on this page. So this is how you can use these sticky modules or sections. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to apply this to your own websites. So let's navigate over to stickyjs.com and download the plugin. I've gone ahead and downloaded the plugin and I've also unzipped the folder. So this is the unzipped folder and the file that we're going to use here is the jQuery.sticky.js. Now what you need to do uh, on your WordPress website is to log in via FTP. Now we need to access the actual files that make up your website. So there's a few ways to do this. Um, sometimes your web hosting company can offer you a control panel, um, most commonly known as the cPanel. Now, on the cPanel, you also have what is known as a file manager. The file manager will give you access to all your WordPress files. The other alternative is to get an FTP username and password, and then you'll be able to log into your file server and access these files using an FTP client like FileZilla. Okay, so the, file, the folder you need to navigate to is uh, WP content, and then go into themes, and... For this to work, obviously, it's Divi, so you need to go into your Divi folder and then find the JS folder. Now, once you've done that, what you need to do now is to upload or just drag this file over into your JS folder. So I've done that already, so I should get a, uh, an error, as you can see here. So my file is over there already. So once you've done this, next what you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin and navigate to your head section of the website. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm here in um, my WordPress admin. So all you need to do is to click on here where it says Divi, and then go to integration, and then find where it says add the code to the head, which is right here. Now, as you can see, I've already added some code in there, but I'll explain in a bit what this code means. And the code that you need to use as well is provided in the show notes below. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste it into the head section of your website. So before you make changes to this code, it looks like this. So what you need to do is to replace where it says your domain name here with your actual domain name as I've done here. And then... Uh, the next area you need to adjust is here where it says your theme folder name here, and that needs to be replaced with your folder structure of where that sticky.js file is. And it's most likely going to be in your dv.js uh, folder. This may differ, obviously, if you're using a child theme, so just make sure you keep an eye on that folder structure. Otherwise, this code won't work. Okay, and the other thing as well is, if you're only going to have one sticky item on your website, then this code is enough. But if you want to have more than one sticky item, then you need to add this extra code and just make sure that um, 
you label them differently so they don't clash. So now that we have this code in place, the next thing you need to do is to save the changes and then navigate to the page where we need to add the sticky module. So in my first example here, we need to go into the actual uh, page settings. So I'm going to go into this audio section because this is the module. I need to make, uh, make sure it's sticky and go head over to the CSS, to the custom CSS section and then make sure your CSS ID is called sticker and we get that name from here. Okay. So once you've done that, save and exit and then click on update and then just do a quick preview just to make sure that it's working okay. And if I test it here, we can see that it is sticky. So while I'm scrolling down the page, we can see that this is um, staying right there in place. Okay, so that's pretty cool. In the second example, again, you need to go into the actual page settings. Now in the Divi Builder, this time is slightly different because we don't have to add this code into the actual module, but we're going to add it to the whole section. So again, you go into the custom CSS and then you add your CSS ID. And then again, once you've done that, click on save and exit, click update, and then do a quick preview. So as you can see, it's right there sticky. It doesn't go beyond the page as I'm scrolling. So that's pretty cool. In this last example, it's similar to the first example, head over to your page and then you need to go into the Divi Builder and go to the module settings and then just go to the custom CSS and add your CSS ID. In my case, it's sticky too. Save and exit and then do a quick update and view the page. So that's all you need to do to make your modules or your sections sticky. So there you have it. This is how you can apply a bit of code to achieve a sticky CSS module. And again, this code is free, so go ahead, download it and try it on your website. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. And we are also counting down to the release of Divi 3.0, an awesome way of designing websites using Divi. Until the next video, thanks for watching and See you soon.